what happens when you detonate a cobalt bomb, the most powerful weapon ever. What would happen if the world's most powerful hydrogen bomb exploded? Everything in its path is swept away by a devastating shockwave. Houses are flattened to the ground by the greatest rays of light and penetrating radiation, fires raging everywhere, and those who survive by some miracle will die a horrible death from radiation sickness or cancer. Is there anything worse than this, though? Yes, unfortunately, and that is the cobalt bomb. In the following 10 minutes, I'll explain how one of humanity's most terrifying weapons of mass devastation works. You'll learn if there's any hope of surviving after such a bomb, as well as how much cobalt is required to destroy the planet. Hello guys, how are you doing today? Before we proceed with this video, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Kindly click on the notification bell to get updates on our exciting content. In reality, surpassing the Cobalt Bomb is difficult, but in the world of dark fantasy, the well-known Rain Shadow Legends, you can choose from nearly 500 champions and be more powerful than any bomb known to mankind. Collect endless artifacts, power up your squad, and emerge victorious from the battle. The first nuclear explosion recorded in history occurred in 1945. Several scientists, including Leo Zillard, are collaborating on the development of this lethal weapon. Then, Nagasaki and Hiroshima were bombed with nuclear weapons, but Zillard continued his studies. He discussed the concept of the cobalt bomb in 1950, a weapon with the capability of annihilating humanity. It has a fairly simple construction. The cobalt bomb is a thermonuclear weapon with a cobalt-59 casing. It's the only stable cobalt isotope discovered in nature. However, this does not make the nuclear weapon any more lethal. It has no effect on the nuclear mushroom's height or the power of light radiation. The maximum possible radiation contamination of the region after the explosion is the most harmful factor of a cobalt bomb. Do you know what dirty bombs are? A cobalt bomb can be described as filthy. So if a cobalt bomb is dropped on the ground for a short period of time, nothing happens. It's nothing more than a shell. However, the reaction occurs as soon as the bomb goes off. The explosion's source of energy comes from a process similar to those that occur in the sun and other stars. A thermonuclear weapon has far more explosive potential than a normal nuclear weapon. It's only limited by the number of components used by its designers. As a result, the Tsar Bomba was intended for a 100 megaton payload. The charge was then reduced to 58. A bomb with a yield of 100 megatons could destroy any city on the planet. Boston, London, and Paris. But back to the video subject. The cobalt bomb just went off, but the cobalt hasn't even started acting yet. The fusion reaction converts cobalt-59 into radioactive cobalt-60 when the bomb explodes. When it explodes, it vaporizes. It condenses and falls back to Earth, along with dust and debris after a period. It contaminates everything in its path as it falls. The half-life of cobalt-60 is just over five years. This is sufficient to produce intense radiation. You won't be able to wait until it's finished in the shelters. For much too long, the area will be poisoned, maybe even longer than a human lifetime. I'll give you an example to help you understand. By six months or perhaps sooner, the radiation implications of a standard hydrogen bomb offer less of a threat to humanity. Cobalt-59, on the other hand, can contaminate the targeted area for decades. It will theoretically be able to stay there, but not permanently. If the wind gusts on the day of the explosion are strong enough, the radioactive fallout will be carried a great distance. A cobalt explosion in Washington, D.C., according to American academic Stefan Schwartz, might lead to contamination of Canada or Mexican soil. According to evidence released by the Federation of American Scientists, the repercussions will be far worse than you can imagine. The bomb would detonate with a force of 4.5 kilograms or 10 pounds of TNT if it included even 9 grams or 3 tenths of an ounce of cobalt-60. On the outskirts of Manhattan, such a weapon would leave the entire area uninhabitable for years. Assume that the fallout from a 60-kilogram, 132-pound cobalt bomb delivers 10 SV per hour radiation doses across a distance of 100 kilometers, 62 miles. Any unprotected individual will be exposed to enough radiation to death within two to three weeks in these settings. When the first half-life has passed, the radiation intensity in the affected area will reach 5 SV per hour in more than five years. Without immediate medical intervention, half of those who survive would die within one to two months, with the survivors having a significant risk of getting cancer. That is, you can theoretically be subjected to such radiation for less than 60 minutes and survive, but your health will suffer. 
the dose rate will reduce to around 10 millisv per hour over a period of time equivalent to 10 half-lives, which is around 53 years. This means you may have spent anywhere from one to four days in a hazardous area without dying. Dental x-rays, for example, deliver a dose of 30 millisv per hour. However, walking through a contaminated region is not recommended. The likelihood of gene alterations would quadruple after four days, and with a dose of 300 millisv per hour, the first signs of radiation sickness would occur. The dose rate will be lowered to roughly 1 micro SV per hour when a length of time equal to 20 half-lives have passed, which is more than a century. At this point, people may stay in the affected area without protection for an extended period of time, not just visiting but perhaps living in the wrecked city. They would not be at risk of radiation sickness, but the quantities of radiation would still be dangerously high. As a result, the number of cancer patients will increase. After 25 half-lives, or roughly 130 years, the intensity of cobalt-60 exposure will reduce to that of natural background radiation. For example, the background radiation in Finland is roughly 400 micro SV per hour. However, this is far from the worst-case scenario. The cobalt bomb is regarded as a doomsday weapon, a hypothetical technology capable of destroying all life on Earth, or possibly the planet itself if activated. Leo Zillard was similarly convinced that such a weapon could wipe humanity off the map, and evidence from free sources back up his claim. To ensure contamination of the Earth's surface at a rate of one gram, three hundredths of an ounce, every square kilometer, three-tenths of a square mile, 510 tons of cobalt-60 are required. If the isotope is evenly scattered around the Earth, such a weapon may wipe out humanity and all animals at the same time. Naturally, not everyone will perish immediately. Except for the wretched tardigrades, no one will have a chance by boat. There are, nonetheless, two pieces of good news. First, studies conducted in 1957 at Maralinga found that cobalt-59 is not actively bombarded by neutron flux as scientists previously believed. This means that even a massive radioactive isotope explosion will yield minimal results. Second, cobalt-60 radioactive fallout is unevenly distributed. Even if the wind pushes it a long way, clean zones will exist, giving people a chance to survive. It's all about standing in the right place at the right moment. Finally, a fact that has given me some comfort. A cobalt bomb is currently only regarded as a possible variant of a nuclear weapon. Despite this, cobalt-60 is widely employed in a variety of industries. Sterilization of medical equipment, for example. No one on the planet has yet succeeded in producing hydrogen bombs in cobalt shells. Anyway, this is based on the official data I was able to locate. Is a cobalt bomb, however, cause for concern? Everyone must make their own decision. After all, who knows what information lies beneath the top secret label? If this video was insightful for you, then go on and like it. Please kindly subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for more updates.